we can split the large project into multiple modules and then use the project reference to link them up later on. And to split the large project into multiple modules, it mainly consists of five steps. It is uh, you duplicate the project into multiple copies and then open the open the individual project, remove the unwanted models and export it to XML and then you put it back to a blank project okay let me show you how this work now we got a large project in here which consists of a three modules the infantry the membership and the cells so we first duplicate the project in three parts we use the save as feature and then we name the project first one is the infantry and we save as again and this time it's the membership and do it one more time and finally it's the sales okay now we got a free project in here and we are now working on the sales project so we first remove the the infantry package which we don't need it in here you can simply delete all the things, uh, all the including the models because uh, we don't need it in this module. So now we only have the cells, the package, and the the con uh, and the class inside. We save and we export the project as the XML. Now select the. project and then specify the output location and like this and then press the export okay now the export is complete and we repeat the steps to the other modules now this one is this time membership okay okay and then delete the infantry package also the sales package okay just that and we export the project to XML again okay this one is uh, membership and finally we do it on the infantry The reason why we need to export the project into XML and input it back is because we want to change the ID of the project file. Since all the three modules are come from the single project file, when you do the save as save as new project, it will still carrying the same project ID. So when you do the reference later on, it will consider as uh, referencing to the project itself, and this is invalid. So we have to export the project into XML and then input it to a blank project to to renew the ID of the project file. Okay, now we exported the, the three modules into XML and now we go to create a new project and we import the XML we just, which just exported. the project XML from the infantry okay now we got the infantry module we save it as a new project file save as the infantry underscore new and okay 
so you can see the new module the infantry module is here let's do it for the for the membership and the sales create a new project and then input XML membership module and save as the save as a new project and finally the sales module Okay, now we got all the three modules uh, here. Now let's see how we can link them up. We create another new project and right click on the diagram navigator and select manage dependent project. And then we add the, you have to add it one by one. Add the inventory, membership, and the new, the sales. If we if we do do not uh, perform the export and input XML steps, and you can't you will not able to add the project in, in, in the managed dependent project dialog because they they are carrying the same ID. Okay, so now you can see all the modules is in here, and you can then simply create a diagram and then. Drag out the, the classes from the from the tree. Like this. And we switch to another module, the membership. Put it over there. So it's uh, pretty easy.